Good day, and welcome back to Yugoslavia, where Joseph Broz Tito has completely annexed Germany, Hungary, Romania, Italy, and Spain. And obviously, these nations will function much better under Yugoslavian control. We now have oil from Romania. We have the mass fields of steel from Germany and from Italy. Well, I guess we got some factories from Italy and Spain. <laughs> Sitting on 248 civilian factories along with 269 military factories and 66 naval dockyards. Now is definitely a good time to start doing some naval research so we can utilize these dockyards. Because currently our naval research is, well, it is quite lacking. Look at that. We can't even do naval invasions. We don't even have transport ships researched. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, now that we're at peace, why don't we look into uh, updating our army? And we're going to update our army by doing a lot of mechanized, and we'll probably introduce some tanks. And while our army's updating, we can also look into, I guess, new targets for aggression. I mean, we're sitting on 238,000 manpower. That's not a lot but it's nothing to shake a stick at. We can definitely utilize that somehow. I think our, our first target is going to have to be France because this guy, while, while he's in the common turn right now, he is 56% fascist and he is definitely going fascist swiftly. And if he flips to Vichy France, I will, I will want to be there. I will want to be there. So let's get our troops on his border. Be like, hey, France, remember me? Yeah, believe it or not, I'm not going to go through the Maginot Line. I know that the Maginot Line has lots of defenses, so I'm not going to go there. Uh, I will, however, bring some paratroopers over and they can sell on the Maginot Line. And just defend it. And the rest of us, uh, I guess we can come in through Italy. Why not? Yeah, eh, that could work. Have some troops come in through Italy and some troops come in through the Pyrenees. Uh, one of them will work. One of them will work. And if they don't, well, we can just pair drop them then, right? I mean, if, if they defend all three fronts, we can just pair drop them. What are they going to do about it? Well, I guess he does have planes, huh? Yeah, he does have planes, so I guess he can defend. <laughs> he can defend against pair drops pretty well, but we can always research naval invasions. And all. I don't know. We'll figure out some way to do it. In the meantime, how are we going to use all of these factories that are available? I have no idea. I mean, there's so many factories available. Let's add more mech. And let's mechanize our troops, because there's no reason to have troops standing out in the open if we can provide them with mechs instead. Need to import some rubber. Can do. Netherlands has all the rubber we need. And that's the only thing we import. Now we import some oil as well. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll import from... Let's import from Russia. But yeah, there's... there's Oh, man. Oh, right. We can update this as well. Let's do um, large Navy or flexible Navy. Large Navy, flexible Navy. Oh, uh, 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 I, I don't know. Let's do flexible. Unused dockyards. Yeah, well, there's no way I can use all these dockyards. There's just no way. I mean, for now, I guess I can just say, hey, max out the uh, max out the production of convoys and see if we can utilize the convoys a little better but there's no way i can use all these factories either like there's just no way <laughs> interwar fighters i'm not going to build that yeah well, let's work on modernizing our army let's make that a priority speed up and no template for mechanized oh right we should probably add a template for mechanized I guess we can use this one. Mech, mech, mech. Mech, mech, mech. Yep. And then over here, we're going to have our recon, engineers, maintenance, field hospitals, and I guess the support anti-tank. But that's going to be swapped out for something else. Probably a signal company. But let's throw it in there for now. Then we're going to have heavy tanks over here. Uh, just two of them, probably.
Let's go with three. All right. And we'll just switch over some troops to that division type as soon as we have a decent stockpile of mechanized and heavy tanks. But I might as well spend the army experience right now. All right, well, as victors of the Great War, it's time for us to take an inward look and see, uh, see how things reflect upon ourselves, right? France joined the Allies. So he left the common turn. He joined the Allies. It's not going to matter. He will flip communist here. I mean, he will flip fascist again. He already flipped fascist, right? He had that civil war for fascism. That was a crazy thing. Are you guys going to even out this line or what? Okay, yeah, they're, they're, they're... Soviet influence in Europe. Okay, what are you doing there, Soviet? Huh? I don't know. Soviet crazy, man. Soviet crazy. Heavy tank too. Excellent. Whoa, the game almost crashed there. That was weird. Now we could go down heavy tank three into modern tank, but it is a little early for that. So why don't we start building some heavy tank two? And the question is, do I want to do, do I want to do the artillery variants? Soft attack 97, that's pretty potent. Hmm. I think I'll skip it for now. Let's get some boat research going. And let's try to catch up on the world of boats. Start building those heavy tank twos. What do we need for that? We need oil. All right, can do. Yeah, synthetic oil might be something we want to go for. Just for the fact that uh, all of the ships... China joined the common turn. Oh, so that land, that land I took in the peace deal, it automatically goes to China. The land of Manchuria that I took. Well, that sucks. What a waste of peace deal points, right? What a waste of peace deal points. Oh, well, whatever. So communist China is in the common turn now. That's awesome. All of our factories are currently uh, repairing stuff. But yeah, if we if we invest in synthetic oil, then we won't have to worry about importing oil anymore. Do we have any synthetic oil research? We do not. All right, so let's make that a priority as well. Is there any place that needs roads? Uh, let's bump our roads up to six everywhere. Six is just a nice number where you can have a whole bunch of troops there and not have to worry about it. Uh, the capital should definitely be a level 10. There you go. Oh, France had another civil war. Well, that's unfortunate. I really wanted France to just flip fascist, but apparently he wants to have a civil war. Huh. Well. And now that France is in the Allies, that means Vichy France has to fight the entire Allies. It's not a true civil war, is it? If a nation in a faction like France was in the Allies. If a nation in a faction has a civil war, then that civil war is not a, not actually a civil war. That civil war is basically a tiny nation declaring war on a huge alliance. Yeah, that's that's so dumb. A civil war should be a civil war, damn it. All right, uh, modify the government time. What are we going to go for? Let's go for a ship designer. Uh, Yadranosk, Yadronsko Brodo Gradiliste. I, I, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that. Game? Uh-oh, game almost died on me there. Don't die on me, game! Alright, our paratroopers are in position, but unfortunately, France... <laughs> It's going to take some time for him to get enough fascism to flip. I'm surprised he had a civil war. He must have chosen that from the event pop-up. Like, he actually chose to have the civil war. 
Need more oil? Yeah, we're definitely going to research oil next. That is huge priority now. Uh, submarine effort? Sure. Might as well get all of that research bonus stuff out of the way. So you're in the common turn, and China's in no faction. And you have cores all over him. Why don't you go to war with him? Just go nuts. Go nuts. Kill your friend. Yes, kill your friends. Yeah, Vichy France is over here. He's trying to fight the allies. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. All right, oil time. Oil time. Desperately need oil. Every month we gain 2.6 thousand manpower. That's so low. How's USA doing on that whole communism thing? He's at 30% uh, communism. That is not going very swiftly. And Vichy France is dead. Big surprise. Now, if it was a true civil war, if it was just France fighting itself, then um, they might have a chance. Vichy France might have a chance. But fighting the whole allies? Nah, it's no chance. And that's essentially the same result you'd get if you had spawned a coup in there, right? Like, when I was uh, supporting... Whenever I support uh, a nation... Like, I'm supporting communism in the USA. Whenever I support a faction in another nation, Twitch chat always goes nuts. They're like, start the coup, start the coup, start the coup. But coups are terrible. I mean, eventually, I'm pretty sure Paradox will make coups useful. But at the moment, coups don't do anything. All, they're just very disappointing. Like, the button's there just to tease you. Just to tease you. It doesn't actually help. 1942 is upon us. Let's get some research bonuses. All right, France. So he's he's still going fascist. 33.75, 33.78. Yeah, he's still going to go fascist. It's going to take some time. I don't think there are any fascist nations in um, Afro-Eurasia. If you want to see fascism, you got to go all the way to South America. Yeah, and we can't attack those guys because they're guaranteed by the USA. It's just kind of a weird situation. Like, I was really hoping France would flip, but he had a second civil war instead. All right, mechanize one. Heavy tank two. Let's get another heavy tank production line. Need more oil? Yeah, always more oil. This is why we're going to go synthetic, because we just need more oil. It's going to be the same problem with rubber. All right, how are we doing on mechanized? 4K? Heavy tank, 262. How much do we need for one... Yeah, how much do we need for one of these little tanky things? We need 400 mech. 120 heavy tank. Okay. So we can do that right now. So why don't we switch... Um, let's say half of these guys. Here, take out half. Give you guys a new color. All right, and you guys are gonna go heavy tanks. And we'll see how long it takes to get these uh, guys fully supplied with heavy tanks. Okay, coming in on the end of shock and awe, which is gonna give us a huge bonus to soft and hard attack. I absolutely love shock and awe. It is amazing how much damage you do. France is over here exercising. Oh, come on, France. You don't have to exercise. They're just paratroopers. Why would paratroopers threaten you? They shouldn't threaten you. Yeah, these divisions have tons of defense. And this is really what you're looking for. Armor and defense will prevent you from taking too much damage. So we're at 60 armor and 730 defense, which means our troops probably won't take that many manpower losses whenever these guys go into combat, assuming they have enough mechanized and heavy tanks to provide those stats. And that's a big assumption, because a lot of times you'll be fighting with them and you don't have the equipment. And if you don't have the equipment, then you don't get those bonuses. 
And you will take a lot of manpower losses. So we're good on mech. It's just the heavy tanks that we need more of. Okay. Well, I can queue in another heavy tank production line. There you go. And what can I get rid of? Something that we have enough. Let's get rid of a weapons. There you go. And what else can I change? Let's see. Artillery. Oh, I can get rid of the second motorized. Get rid of that. Just some things that we just don't need at the moment. Let's see. Two support equipment is fine. One artillery, one anti-tank is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six mechanized. One, two, three, four, five tanks. Uh, let's get a sixth tank. And that's probably good enough, actually. Let's hold it like that for now and see how it goes. More oil. More oil. Always more oil. She's thirsty. Oh, shit. He went 62% fascist. Come on, just go flip. Don't have a third civil war. Just flip. He must have had some event pop-ups to go that fascist. Holy crap. Uh, what do we need over here? Um, we could always use more dockyards. We could always use more factories. We could always use more civilian factories. But I think I would like to focus on oil. So if that's the case, why don't we get infrastructure down? Let's just go nuts on infrastructure. And we'll do that as a... As just sort of in the meantime thing while we're waiting for oil research to be done. And this will just be always queued up. We'll never finish all this infrastructure, but we'll have it queued up. Something for them to do when they're bored. My boss gave me nothing to do today. Well, that's bullshit. I told you to work on them roads and railroads. Now you got something to do, Billy. Oh, shucks. I shouldn't have opened my fat mouth. Yeah, you had a good thing going, didn't you, Billy? You screwed it all up. Yeah, so since France has this whole, like, uh... Well, since France has this, the support the right, he gets daily fascism support plus 0. 0.20. So he's just constantly getting these events to go fascist. Does he have a fascist advisor? Yeah, he's got a fascist advisor as well. <laughs> Holy crap, France. All right, swap out mech one for mech two. He's got a fascist advisor and he decided to support the right. So he has a daily fascism increase of 0 0.30. So he's constantly getting these events to go fascist. And so far he's accepted a lot of fascist increases in the government but he has not accepted the switch to fascism. Instead, he opted for two civil wars. So I'm hoping he'll actually accept fascism at some point here. Aircraft designer. Do you want a heavy aircraft for strategic bombers? Do you want a naval aircraft for extra bombing ability? Do you want a medium aircraft for tack bombers and heavy fighters? Or do you want a light aircraft for just fighter bonus? I think there's just a fighter. I almost always go with just fighters. I'm not too keen on the air game. How are we doing here on tanks? Uh, still a little low. No, you just got caught up. Waiting for 55 heavy tanks. 700 tanks behind. Okay, so it looks like our mechanized production is much faster than our tank production. And we can confirm that. Even here at half production speed, they're still getting five and a half a day versus the tanks, which are at uh, almost full. They're only three and a half a day. So yeah, the tanks produce a lot more slowly than the mechs do. So we should probably get some more tank production going. All right, when's the oil done? 30 days? 30 days to oil, bro. 30 days to oil. Now, we could, if we wanted to, we could switch a lot of China to communist, and if that happens, then we can flip a whole bunch of these territories over to the PRC, who's in the common turn with us. But I don't think there's any need to do that. I think it's all right just having them about, about equal sides. Oh, there we go. France flipped. 
So he's left the allies. All right, justify war goal. In 125 days, France is going down. Patrice Falk, really? I thought Vichy France was always commanded by that dude with the fancy hat. The old dude with the white, whatever. I've never seen Patrice Falk in charge. He's always been that old dude instead. All right, let's start up that synthetic oil, baby. And yeah, I'm just gonna put it everywhere. There's no reason not to. Everywhere that does not touch the sea. Shit. All right, so there's our synthetic oil. Get that started. And I will put it ahead of the infrastructure priority because we are importing a lot of oil and rubber and we can't rely on imports, can we? That's the thing is if, if you're gonna be at war with a lot of the world, you simply cannot rely on imports. Oh, geez, he also killed about half of his army. He used to have like 80 troops and he's down to like 45, maybe less. We're just going to walk all over him. And look at that 40% national unity. He is so screwed. Okay, so we're up to date on destroyer attack. Could go ahead of time. Um, sure, why not? Have those nice bonuses. 100% less ahead of time cost and 50% cost reduction. I'll take it. But yeah, in December, we're going to go to war with France. And I bet we're just going to full annex him because... He's not going to form a faction with anyone, I don't think. Let's make sure we have as many uh, weapon bonuses as we can for this war. There's not much left to do here, so I guess we'll go aviation. You ready, France? You ready? You ready? Oh, I don't I don't think he's ready, man. I can see him quaking in his booties. He's a scurred little France. He's scurred. We're gonna give him reason to be scurred, aren't we? Is this really called Army One? Oh jeez. Army one. Brave drop Tito's and the frontline professionals. You still don't have offensive doctrine. He's at 78% offensive. All right, well, he's almost there. I'm gonna switch these guys around. I want the paratroopers on low because they're just gonna stay in the line. And uh, just keep you on low, yeah, yeah. There we go. So we're done with ship designs for destroyers. So we can start building some level four destroyers. Let's get cruisers out of the way. And why don't we start building some destroyers? Where's my fleet? Do we not have a fleet? Oh, I, um, I thought we had a Navy. I guess it got bombed into oblivion, didn't it? It, was, it wasn't that impressive of a navy anyway. I shouldn't cry about it. Uh, but where's our best port? Our best port is probably Toronto. That's a level 10. Yeah, it's a level 10 base. So why don't we base our fleet out of there? Okay. I'll have to come up with a nice name for it too. But yeah, the main push will be done through the mountains, and I'm just going to ignore the the um, the Maginot Line. There's just no point to even bother with the Maginot Line. Look at look at Luxembourg with 52 divisions. <laughs> I like how our intelligence agency says, "Oh, it's 41 to 69 divisions," when clearly we can see there's 52. Exactly. 
I mean, he doesn't have any troops anywhere else in the world. This is his one province in the world. So why are you giving me this bullshit about 45 to 71? Come on, man. All right, though, that is going to have to do it for the episode today. Thank you all for watching. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for the invasion of Vichy France. Bye-bye. <laughs>